Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting transfer news. We start with Oreo Romeo as the move for the player to Barca after reports saying that he will be a Barca player. There are still things that Barca need to sort out. The move is currently on a halt as negotiations have stopped at the moment. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about um, Nico Gonzalez as the 21-year-old is has been offered to Premier League club Wolverhampton Wanderers and Aston Villa by Josh Mendes. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the stories in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. In a huge, huge development, journalist Neil Sola is reporting that FC Barcelona will complete the signing of Girona midfielder Aurea Romeo in the next few hours. Romeo is set to arrive at the club in a deal worth 5 million euros plus add-ons, Why a certain Pablo Torre will move the other way on a loan deal to Girona. Girona were also keen on signing Nico Gonzalez on loan as part of that deal, but Nico will be going on pre-season tour with Barcelona to the United States. Of course, Romeo had become the main target for Barca to reinforce the pivot position in recent weeks as they looked for a low-cost operation to replace outgoing Sergio Busquets. The 31-year-old's experience defensive nose and his familiarity with the Barca philosophy. Of course, mind you, Romeo left La Masia some 10 years ago. Of course, we were keen on convincing manager Xavi to go after him. Negotiations have been going on for quite some time, with reports suggesting earlier this week that the transfer was just one step away. And now it appears that the two clubs have seemingly agreed on the deal with Barca, set to pay $5 million in fixed amounts plus add-ons for Romeo Y young star Pablo Torre will join Girona on a loan deal. Reports of Torre's loan move to Montalivi started picking up pace in recent hours and it appears that Pablo Torre will indeed be joining the club for the upcoming season if everything goes well where he will hope to get regular game time. As mentioned earlier Girona also wanted Nico on a loan deal, but that is unlikely to happen. With the youngster set to travel to the United States for the pre-season tour. Furthermore, reports suggest that the 21-year-old could be leaning towards a loan move to FC Porto in Portugal. An alternate report from MD suggests that the deal will be finalized by Monday. But Neil Solar is reporting that the deal will be completed very soon. Either way. Romeo appears set to secure a return to his former club, Barcelona, very soon. Of course, after long, long talk about other Romeo to replace Busquets, Barca are, are seemingly, you know, achieving their dreams. Honestly, I think other Romeo, yes, he's a quality player. But one can argue that it is not a player that you can say he should play for clubs like Barca. In the sense that Barca is a very big club. Even though our levels these days have gone down because financially we can't back up, we can't sign quality players. And looking at the caliber of players that we are signing now, back in the days, if you tell me that we'll sign players like Oro Romeo, who is for me a player can, that can sweep by teams in the, in the, you know, in the mid-table teams, I would have refused because normally we know that, yes, Oro Romeo was not the first choice initially. Zubimendi... Um, of course, Joshua Kimmich was a top choice for Xavi, but unfortunately, money reasons could not permit us to get those players that we really wanted. And of course, Oro Romeo had to be the only choice that Barca were looking after, as he's the most cheapest one. And Xavi also assuming that because he left La Masia, then he'll be surely a good signing, which doesn't mean anything, by the way. Oro Romeo is a physically imposing player, and... I think, I don't understand how on earth he fits into the Busquets role. 
because Xavi is the one always insisting that he needs a player similar to Busquets to replace it to replace him. But how? What? 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 What do they have in common? I still don't see it. I still don't see it because if you are thinking about selling players like Frank is here who can also play that midfield role, why should you be selling him who is more qualitative than Ole Romeo? But it remains to be seen how things will go. But I think. It is what it is. Bas have already decided and the move currently is looking now very, very possible. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. With Nico Gonzalez set for another loan exit from Barca this summer. There are a host of clubs interested in securing his services as confirmed by the 21-year-old's father in an interview. FC Porto are one of the clubs keen on Nico's signing. While clubs in Spain and Premier League are also keen. As such, La Liga is concerned, clubs such as Betis, Valencia, Villarreal, looking at the young midfielder as an option. Muno Deportivo now reporting that Nico's agent, George Mendes, has even offered his services to Premier League clubs like Ashton Villa and Wolverhampton Wanderers. The 21-year-old Amasia got his spent last campaign out on loan at Valencia. But he endured, um, of course, injury riddled season. Even then, mm -hmm. he did show some signs of his talent and mm -hmm. quality. However, there is no space for Nico in Chavi's plans at Barca currently, thanks to the arrival of Gondogan and the impending signing of Romeo. As such, Spanish midfielder will be shipped out on loan yet again, even though his desire is to succeed at Barcelona. Recent reports suggest that even Girona are trying to convince Nico to join the team, but he is leaning towards Porto. But a move to the Premier League could also be on the cards with Mendes offering up his services to both Ashton Villa and Wolf. The latter have shown an interest in the Barca starlet for a while, and with Ruben Neves leaving, there could be a vacancy for Nico to fill. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. <music>